Yes, it's time for Savings Challenge Sunday. And in today's video, we will be doing two versions of the 100 Envelope Challenge. All of these games, throwing down a couple Busy Bee cards, answering some of your questions all while we're stuffing, a total of $425. Oh, and we can't forget Hello Honey. Today's version is called Save Money, Live Better. Does that sound familiar? You'll see why, let's get into it. I wanna start with not necessarily one of your questions, but a comment. And this comment is from Beth Beckermeyer, and she says, I don't know how much we saved in 2023 altogether. I need to learn how to track that. Girl, me too. When I saw your comment, I've been thinking about it ever since because I don't really know everything I saved altogether for my savings challenges. And this year I want to be better about that and know how much we saved. So I decided to use our cash planning sheet and I used it exactly like I do with the cash stuffing video. I wrote down all of the games I want to play. I wrote down how much I can put into each game, planned out all of the denominations. I love this. So I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I still haven't come up with my perfect budget binder. Still kind of in the works and still coming together, but adding pages like this is gonna get it how I, in my mind, feel like I want it. So if any of you are wondering how to track your savings challenge money like I am and like Beth is, I think the cash planning sheet is a good solution. And if you look down here at the bottom, I have two different totals. And as I said, we will be stuffing $425 total today. $358 is here, and the other $67 is in here. So let's start with the $358. $100, $200, $25, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $250, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000
63 is 9, 9, 73 is 10, 83, 11, 93 is 12, 40 is 4. Okay, let's go ahead and mark those off. And this brings me to our second viewer comment, and this comes from Kim Hawkins. She says, I struggle with my bank. One hour long wait at the drive-thru. No, thank you. I don't want to do this with just 20s from my ATM. I don't know what to do. Please help. Yeah, I totally get that. We do not have time to be sitting in a bank drive through for an entire hour. I couldn't even imagine. So my solution for something like that, and I think there's a lot of you out there that have issues with getting to the bank, or maybe a bank is really far away, or you just don't have time. Or maybe you don't like having cash in the house. We all know there's so many reasons that not everybody likes to use actual cash. So we have, and I have, <laughs> I have lots of it, Prop money is an option for you. You could just do your budget and say your budget allowed you $146 that you could put into your savings challenges this week. You could just use prop money and let's go to the 50. You could just fold this up just like you would cash and put it in there. And in your accounts, just make sure you move your $146 from your checking to your savings account. And if you are not able to print prop money, you could just use a little piece of paper and put it in there. And then you know that you've already saved up this envelope. Another option I like are the fully funded cards. That would let you know the little marker. So there are so many different ways that you could still do savings challenges and cash stuffing without actually having to go to the bank and get cash out. Okay, so next I wanna do monthly party. And before we start this one, I apologize. I know you guys can see <laughs> my shadow of my head going back and forth and it is just such a gloomy rainy day here that the lighting in what I call my YouTube room is terrible today. So I apologize now for my <laughs> big head shadow going on. And if you notice too, my hands are very red and that's because I just took Uhtred out for his walk right before I started filming. And oh my gosh, that cold wind coming off of that lake is a bit much for your Florida girl. So, so those are all of my apologies out of the way. Let's get to monthly party. And today... I have $36 set aside, and as you can see over here, I put December times three. Loving this cash planning sheet. Thank you, Beth. I cannot find my purple marker anywhere. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark one, two, three, and we'll color just a little bit more of the December balloon. And let's add our $36, 20, 35, six, 20, 35, and six. And let's see what we're up to. Okay, monthly party has 50, 70, 90, 100, and five, 10, 11, 12, 13, $113. I should probably say this. If this is the first time you are watching a savings challenge video, you're probably very confused right now. So monthly party is a game that goes the entire year. And January is the first month of the year. February is the second and so on. So you save $1 a day, $2 a day, $3 a day. Now, obviously December is a big one at $12 a day. So I'm trying to get this one done early since these are so much easier. So I'm doing the hard ones at the same time that I'm doing the easy ones. 
Okay, so let's move on. And doing that game just actually made me think of another question that I got and I looked all through the comments and I could not find it. So I'm not sure who asked me this. Somebody asked the question, do you just keep playing savings challenges until the money is gone? And that is a yes and no answer. So once I do my budget and I have the amount total that I can stuff for my savings challenges that specific week, I always try to give at least $200 to 100 honeys. And yes, then the rest of it basically does kind of just get played with. And that's to keep saving fun and interesting for me, as opposed to making it a boring chore and just moving money from my checking to my savings account. Because when I did it that way, I actually had a tendency to just put money back into my checking when I saw that it was getting a little low. And I think that was because I had no connection to the money. Doing it with savings challenges like these creates an attachment to the money. And you want to try to have a goal also attached to each savings challenge. Okay, you guys, when I clear the table, you know what time it is. It is time to play Hello Honey, and today's version is called Save Money, Live Better. And I wonder how many of you knew what that was from. That is actually Walmart's slogan. So today's game, I'm gonna show you five items that I purchased from Walmart. And then I'm gonna tell you a fake price. Now what you're gonna do is decide whether my fake price is higher or lower than the actual price. So get a piece of paper and pen ready and write down higher or lower for each one of these items. And before we get started, you can make these five items worth whatever you want to save. You could do $5 a piece, which would be a max of $25. If you got them all right, you can make them $1 a piece, which would mean you would save a maximum of $5 if you got them all right. So I want you to pick your dollar amount that each one is worth to you before we get started. Okay, so the first item is Yummy Yummy Duncan Hines Creamy Cream Cheese Cake Frosting. Yum, this stuff is so good. Okay, so the fake price is $1.50. Is the actual price higher or lower than $1.50? Higher or lower than $1.50. Next item is Great Value Brand Brown Gravy Mix. Just one of their little tiny packets, Brown Gravy Mix. The fake price is 38 cents. Is the actual price higher or lower than 38 cents? Next up, Bush's Best Pinto Beans. And these are for Uchard's food. He loves these, <laughs> he loves these beans. The fake price is $2.10. Is the actual price higher or lower than $2.10? Okay, next is one of my favorite things, Bumblebee Prime Solid White Albacore Tuna. Just a regular sized can. Fake price is $3.19. $3.19 is the actual price higher or lower than $3.19. Next is and this is for these rainy days that I've been having. I was craving this. Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate Packets, pack of eight. Does have the, if you wanna call them marshmallows in there, I don't know what they are, but it is the marshmallow. Eight packets of Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate. Fake price, $3.28. Is the actual price higher or lower than $3.28? Okay, let's see what the answers are. The actual price is $1.92, higher than $1.50. Actual price, 48 cents, higher than 38 cents. Actual price, $1.86, lower than $2.10. Actual price, $2.62, lower than the $3.19, lower. Actual price, $2.48, 
again, lower than the 328. No, this game is not over yet. We have a bonus round. There's going to be three this time. If you get one right, it's $2. If you get two right, it's $5. If you get all three right, you're going to add $10 for today's bonus round. Okay, so with the save money, live better slogan in mind, I went around and I chose my favorite thing, Jason's favorite thing, and Uhtred's favorite thing that they sell in Walmart that helps us to live our best life. So I'm gonna show you each of those items and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna give you a fake price and you're gonna decide whether the real price is higher or lower. You ready? And we're gonna start with Jason. His favorite thing from Walmart is this Dean's French onion dip. This is always in my refrigerator. He eats it with uh, old school like ruffle potato chips, the original ones, he loves it. So the fake price is $4.48. Is the real price higher or lower than $4.48? Utrid's favorite item from Walmart is the America's Vet Dogs Soft and Moist Dog Treats. And if they ever stop selling these things, we are in a lot of trouble, you guys. So the fake price is $5.88. Is this bag of dog treats higher or lower than $5.88? Okay, let's move on to my favorite item from Walmart. You guessed it. <laughs> my favorite wine, Alamos, Malbec. Love this stuff. Fake price, $13.99 a bottle. Is it higher or lower than $13.99? Okay, so we've got our three items over here and let's start with Jason's. The actual price of this is $2.34, lower than what I told you. Uhtred's treats are $3.88, again, lower than what I told you, $3.88. These are a very good deal. And my wine's actual price is $10.98 a bottle, and again, lower than what I told you. Prices really are lower at Walmart, you guys. Saying anything lower on these prices almost sounded ridiculous to me. Okay, so add up all of your answers and you know what I need you to do. I need you to comment below what you saved so I can average your answers out. Now, let's get to this business because I thought that I was all caught up with you guys, but apparently I am not. So, today's game is the O in love. And that's what we're sticking with, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna start coloring where we are. And that's it. So I will not mess up again. I was saying to myself the other day, is this their game or my game? Whose game is this? Because they're doing a better job of keeping up than I am. So I went ahead and averaged out all of these so that I could get caught up with you again for the L. And the amount was 19, but I went ahead and rounded it up to 20. So I'm going to go ahead and add 20 and write that down. So I think this will be a better way for me to keep track. When we play it, I will color in the letter. And once I actually pay it, I'll write in the amount. That makes sense, right? So 1, 2, 220, 25, 26, 226. So let's see where I'm at with Wordle. So the last time I checked in with you guys was on the 6th. So since then I've played three times and each time was $4. And I'm only paid up to here. And I owe all of these. So we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, $24. Going into Wordle today, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 24. So the game has 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, $29. And next up is my words of affirmation. I absolutely love doing this one. And today I'm on the letter E. And I think I'm going to use the word efficient to describe myself. 
Choose a positive adjective. Choose a positive adjective. Choose a positive adjective. Say that three times real fast. Choose a positive adjective that best describes you. And I would say I am pretty efficient. So let's add that up. Each letter is worth one dollar. Vowels are worth two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen dollars. 10, 11, 12, 13. All together, 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. And since we have this binder out, we're going to go to the next game, and that is the Save 10 Journey. And today I have put aside five fives. One, two, three, four, five. And the goal of this game is to save 10 of each denomination, 1, 5s, 10s, 20s, 50s, and 100. And you can track it here on the back. But this time around, I wanted to do multiple ones at the same time. So as you can see, I have a 3 written next to the 10 and a 2 written next to the 5. So I'm adding 5 today, so that now is going to be a 7. And let's see what I've got going on in here. I should have three tens, one, two, three, seven fives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the one is colored in because I already have the 10 ones saved up. And moving on to Snow Party. I really like this one. And this brings me to my next question from one of you. Let me bring it up on my computer really quick. And this one says, okay, this one comes from CB with Nicole. And she says, I wanted to ask if you had any helpful suggestions on types of challenges or games to play that are relatively quick and easy to finish. I think my current strategy that I carry out over the course of three months, she gets paid bi-weekly, is killing my motivation. We do not want that. Any helpful hints for bi-weekly budgeters that take a while to build their savings? Yes, I do. And I actually think that board games like Snow Party, Girl Math University, and Welcome Gnome are really good ones for someone who's looking to finish a game really quickly to stay motivated. And the reason I say that is one, they're fun because they are a dice game. And two, they are lower amounts, which makes it a lot easier to finish. So let's start with, and the marker, and let's see, I finished it last time. I went all the way to the end. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning again. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three, three. And let's go, let's go a couple more times. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait. Shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another three. Now, if you watched last week, you know that I kept landing on the ones. Today, I'm landing on all of the threes. Let's go one more time. Five. One, two, three, four. And again, a three. And I'm going to need some change. Take this five. One, two, three. Add the three. And I'm actually going to take two ones and this five and take back a 10. Okay, so we'll stop there and add 12 to Snow Party. And let's see what I'm up to here. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30. And next let's do Girl Math University. Again, a very quick game with lower amounts, keeping you interested, but still saving money very quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this says waited for Sephora's VIB sale, save $3. Three, and let's go again. Six, one, two, three, four, five, 
Six. This one says, went on a girl's trip and split the cost. Save four bucks. You see that girl math we're doing, right? Four dollars. <laughs> Let's keep going. Five. One, two, three, four, five. This one says, bought the Pilates app and quit the gym. Save a dollar. One. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cash those in and take a five. So we've saved eight today for Girl Math University. And that's the first bit of cash going in there. So we have $8. And I think some other really good games that are lower amounts that will keep you interested and you can finish quickly are Coffee Cash. As everyone knows, I have always loved this one and you can see why once it's all completed, it looks so cute. Coffee Cash. Save or Spend is another really good one. I've seen some of you on some of the other YouTube channels, you guys blow through this one. So I know this one can go quickly. And I really liked this one too, the magic of self care, because each symbol is five or 10, you choose. And I added all of this up. If you save $5 a symbol, it's $90 when you're done, which obviously if it was 10, it would be 180, or you could mix them up and go somewhere in the middle. But I think this is a really good one for someone that wants one that's relatively quick and easy to finish. So how about you guys help a girl out and in the comments below, put the link to your favorite savings challenge that you find is quick and easy to do. Okay, so I've got some cash left over and I said we would be throwing down some busy bee cards. So let's do a few of these. And we played these two games. So let's add the money to Snow Party and girl math. If you have not seen Busy Bee Cards yet, these are all different little, I guess what I would call mini games, and you could use these so many different ways. But what I'm doing is pulling a card and adding to the game. That way it challenges you to save just a little bit more in each game. So for Snow Party, we will pull the first Busy Bee Card. And this is a spelling bee. Roll the dice to see which prompt I'm going to do, one through six. And we've got number four, which says something that begins with the letter L. Hmm. I'm going to say light above my head, L-I-G-H-T, four, five. And let's pull another one. Hi, have a good day. Save based on... The day of the week today is saturday and the weekend is your choice so i'm gonna go with two and let's pull another one honey money save five one two three four five okay so i'm gonna stop there for snow party and let's pull one for girl math flip a coin and save the amount heads is two tails is one I guess that flip counts and it's tails for one. Buzzworthy, save based on the last thing you watched. It was definitely YouTube because I feel like that's all I watch anymore and that's worth five dollars. One, two, three, four, five. I have two dollars left. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. Save one. All right, one more dollar. Save two. Oh my gosh, if those would have just been swapped, right? All right, so we'll just add a dollar and call it a day. Girl Math University has five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 now. So we basically doubled it because I think it had eight the first time around. So that's good. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 42. Okay, you guys, I have one more thing to show you. While I was filming just now, my sister texted me and she let me know that the package she sent me was in my mailbox. So I braved the cold out there for you guys just to get this package out of my mailbox. I rode the golf cart down and I got my package from my sister. So let's open this up. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff, you guys. Okay, so the first thing is 
this new bag that she just started selling on Etsy. And I love it. Does this budget make my bag look big? Super cute. I love the canvas. I love the hot pink. Very cool. Thank you, April, for sending me that. I love it. And she's got the cutest little care instruction card that goes with it. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. Sorry, I can't. I'm on a no spend challenge. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am always on a no spend challenge. I love this bag. Check this out. This thing is big. I could actually fit some serious groceries in here. Okay, I will definitely be using this. Thank you again. Super cute canvas bag. Love it. And let's see what's in this holographic bag. Okay, now this I knew about because she knows that No Match is like my all-time favorite game that she has made. So what she did was she revamped it and it is cuter than ever. And it comes in this carrying case. Oh my gosh. And here are the cards. This is the back. Wow, these are, holy crap, they are so nice. Like super <laughs> sturdy cards. And she changed the front of each one. So cute. And if you've never seen me play this before, this is a match game. So let me show you real quick. You just lay them out like this. Oh my gosh, I think she added more. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she did. I don't remember there being this many cards. So yes, yeah, she definitely added more matches. And then it's just like old school match. Like when you were a kid, you just turn them until you make a match. I finally made a match and this one says to roll the dice and save that amount. And as you can see, each one has a different prompt. Double the next match. If it's the weekday or the weekend, $20, $10, so you will definitely be seeing no match on the channel, I will be playing this a lot. So before I forget, I do know that she had a certain amount of these made. I don't know how many. So if you really want them, you definitely want to grab them. And we've got a stack of scratch offs, scoops of savings. And as most of you know, she started two sided ones now. So there's stuff on the back too. I love this one. Don't blow your money. Game on the back candy bag, more cute stuff, gnome spend, and the golden ticket. I love this one. I can't wait to play that one. This is so cute. This is the February. Oh, look at this one. Honey money. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here's the gnome match dashboard. Okay. I got that. Honey bee, my Sabin time, butterflies and bees, rain or shine, and I love this one. This one is definitely new. I've never seen it. Honey money. Love it. So of course, all of this that you just saw is linked below in the description. All of the games that you saw me play, the busy bee cards, the 100 envelope savings challenge. I have quite a few different colors of this and they all come with a bank bag and a bling pen that match. Make sure you subscribe before you forget. The hive is almost to 15 thousand subbies you guys wow how did that even happen and if you haven't hit the bell do that too so you never miss a new video if you are new to cash stuffing and you are not sure exactly how to do it check out this video where i explain four different ways that you can start your own cash envelope system click here and check it out